Hey guys, this is Micah with Total Control Innovations here. Uh, we're doing another video on the DJI Phantom 3. Uh, in this video, we'll be showing you uh, how to take off, uh, some pre flight checklists, uh, compass calibration, uh, powering on the copter, and a uh, few features of the app as well. Uh, to get started, uh, we'll go ahead and go to the copter here. Uh, first thing you want to do when you're getting ready for flight is take off your gimbal holder. Uh, we recommend leaving it on uh, during any type of transportation uh, just because the gimbal is one of the most fragile parts of the copter. Um, so leaving that on there kind of holds it in place even if you're putting it in a case or the cardboard box itself. Uh, to remove it, uh, you simply look on here. Uh, it says unlock and has a arrow pointing to the right hand side here. So we'll go ahead and grab it and we'll pull it off. And we'll set that to the side here. Uh, next you want to go ahead and put on your propellers. Uh, we have uh, black that go to black here. And on the propeller itself, it does have a lock and unlock symbol with an arrow. So go ahead and get it uh, nice and snug. So you want to flick it on and then tighten it a little bit more just so it doesn't come off uh, while you're in the air. Uh, next is going to be silver, which is on the opposite side here. We'll go ahead and do the same thing. All right, now we're ready to uh, go ahead and get our mobile device and our remote control ready. Uh, so first we're going to go ahead and go to our mobile device, which we're using an Android phone right now, just because the iOS app hasn't been released. So we'll go ahead and go into the camera. And once that pulls up, right, it says USB disconnected. We'll go ahead and uh, power on the remote control. And then we'll power on the copter itself. You always want to power on the uh, remote control first. Uh, that way the copter only looks for the remote control and uh, binds right to that remote only. No chance of interference there. All right, now we'll go over uh, one of the most important things, which is uh, compass calibration. Uh, in order to get into compass calibration, uh, we simply go into the app. Uh, we tap on the safe to fly that either says GPS or non-GPS. Uh, then right down here, it says uh, compass and it says normal. And then we can click the calibrate button here. It says calibrating the compass now. Uh, please be sure there are no magnets or metal objects near the compass. So we'll click OK. Uh, now our rear lights will become solid yellow. And on the screen it says make sure there are no magnets or metal objects near the compass. From the ground, 1.5 meters or 5 feet, rotate the aircraft 360 degrees horizontally. So what we do, we go behind the aircraft itself. Uh, we're going to pick it up and we're going to rotate counterclockwise or to the left. 360 degrees till the rear lights turn green, which they have right now. Uh, now if we go back to our application, uh, it will tell uh, step two, make sure there are no magnets or metal objects near the compass. From the ground, 1.5 meters or 4.9 feet, face the nose down, then rotate the aircraft 360 degrees again. So now we'll have the aircraft in this position. We'll put the camera down towards the ground, battery up, and we'll do the same 360 degrees counterclockwise rotation. And once we reach the end here, the lights will go out and they'll either blink green or yellow depending on if you're inside or outside. And now we're ready to go to our app and make sure we have enough satellites. Uh, we have currently, it looks like 17 satellites, uh, so we are safe to fly with GPS mode. Uh, so now, We'll go ahead and do a, a quick takeoff, a uh, quick demo on how to do that as well. So when, when taking off, uh, you want to take both of your sticks and go into the middle or out to the outside. That will unlock your motors and get them ready for takeoff. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate here. So now we are, we're ready for takeoff. If for some reason you wanted to cancel this uh, takeoff, you simply take your throttle stick, hold it down for about three to five seconds, it'll shut off the motors. You'll do that as well when you're landing. Uh, so now we'll go ahead and back up just a couple of steps here and we'll do a quick takeoff. All right, so our motors have started as indicated on the app. Uh, now we'll take our, our left hand stick, uh, which is the throttle, and we'll go ahead and gently increase and we will take off.
All right, now we're gonna demonstrate the go home feature of the Phantom 3. So we'll go ahead and take off. I want to go out a few hundred feet here. And the home point is automatically set um, after you do compass calibration, right when you unlock your motors. Uh, as long as you have enough satellites, we have, uh, I believe, seven, 18 currently, 17 when we took off. So we have plenty of satellites. Uh, so what we'll do is there's two different ways we can get uh, the copter to come home. One of them is on the remote control right here. Uh, the other one is actually on the app itself. Same sort of button. Um, it has uh, H with a downward pointing arrow. Uh, in order to have it go home, uh, we simply press and hold for about three to five seconds. And then the copter will initiate go home button pressed, it'll go up to its predetermined altitude, which you set in the application, and it will start coming home. It'll go ahead and land itself. And there we go. Motors will shut off. And now you're ready to either change your battery or SD card or be done for the day.